cannabis, it's merely a plant, a wild weed, but it produces a range of effects that is unmatched. These sea squirts we find here on the marina t today, and they have within them very simple nervous systems that operate in much the same way that our nervous systems operate. In all animals, the nervous system is made of the same components. Large numbers of nerve cells carrying electrical signals. And wherever these cells meet, the signal is passed to a receptor in the next cell by a chemical messenger called a neurotransmitter. Across the brain, there are different types of these neurotransmitters, such as dopamine and serotonin. All animals, from fish to donkeys to humans, have inherited this basic structure. But way back in time, the sea squirt evolved an innovation to this system. What happened was the uh, nervous system acquired a new chemical, a chemical, if you like, that had a new flavor, a new, a new, new, new type of chemical. And it's this chemical that is uh, related in structure, has right. a similar shape to the chemical that's found in cannabis. Because of this similarity, these new signals came to be known as cannabinoids. Once the cannabinoid receptor evolved in the sea squirt, then it was inherited by every other vertebrate animal which followed, including us humans. It was only a matter of time before one of these creatures would encounter the cannabis plant, so that THC and the cannabinoid receptor would meet. Since it was here, in Central Asia, that cannabis first proliferated, it was also probably here that that first meeting took place. It's not really difficult to, to imagine how it happened. I mean, no one knows for sure when THC and the cannabinoid receptor first came together, but it, it has to have been here in these mountains. And whether it was an animal who, you know, hungry overcame the unpleasant taste and had a good munch on a cannabis bush, or it was a bird flying around or a rodent, the first stoned animal is lost to history. In that very first stoned animal, THC from the cannabis plant flowed from its gut into its bloodstream and was carried to its brain. There it met the cannabinoid receptor evolved so many millions of years earlier in the humble sea squirt. And it just so happened to fit like a key in a lock. It was inevitable that eventually cannabis would meet its perfect partner, us. Whether you like it or not, each and every one of us is fundamentally wired to respond to cannabis.